introduction for another video it's your boy nate sb as you can see i'm in my bedroom i'm trying to make the best out of my arrangements got family over but i just wanted to put out a quick video got a brand new jersey on it's a throwback jimmy butler you already know when he was in minnesota still got tags on it i just wanted to throw it on what the hell i don't care i don't care what you got to say about me bro i'm me period that's it that's it Either you're gonna watch me or not. So if you do like me, just like and subscribe, put a comment down, and I dare you to put a comment down if you don't like it anyway, because I'm gonna respond with love. Psych. I might just play you. But anyway, here we go. Another video. I got right here something special. Couldn't hit on the Grinches, so I ended up just getting the Converse Grinch. This is what we're gonna do. So I dressed up all green like a clown, right? Because. You know, the sneakers, they're not that sought after. But to me, I thought they were fire. So, here we have it. There's a Converse All-Star BB Pro. If I'm not mistaken, let me just make sure. All-Star Pro BB High. There we go. Call these the Kelly Oubre's. You know what I'm saying? Glow in the dark bottom. Glow in the dark bottom. There's not a lot of reviews out on this one. Not too sure why. It could be because it's just a trash sneaker in your opinion. I personally seem to think that this is a fire concept number one number two it is an underrated basketball sneaker i did try these on already i don't know if you can tell on the bottom there's some you know what i mean i did try these on i ran around in the crib it's probably why i'm out of shape right now and i can't breathe because i'm fat and i'm trying to run in this small apartment but you know i did the best i could but i tried these on wow super comfortable they remind me of the kobe nines uh super low to the ground very responsive to your feet they, they move around they're light Super light, uh, but one of the things that I love about this sneaker is just it looks like a like a Converse. When I grew up, uh, the only thing that I could really afford before Jordans was Converse. So this reminded me of a Converse, and I was like, "Yo, it's crazy how they were able to, you know, Eric Avar was able to transform this Converse into a basketball sneaker, right?" And you know, just to take a look at it, man, look at the mesh, right? We got the red coming on this side. We got that red star. It's like a like a glow in the dark, you know, Converse logo right here. We got the off green, lime green, and then it goes into like another little like yellowish green line on the bottom, you know, with the hyperfuse right here. And then we got the little nice, you know, shiny star and all black with the red laces to go with the Grinch. Um, you know, shout out to Kobe. You know, he's the man, R.I.P. Uh, a lot of great things that Kobe left behind. One of the greatest things that he left behind for the sneaker game to evolve it and to also make it grow it is that Grinch concept he was the first one to ever come up with it and to me a lot of companies a lot of people are going to try to re replicate that right so even Reebok they have the actual Grinch foot like fur coming out of it I got it check out my Instagram is Nate underscore SB if you want to see images of that sneaker so Nate underscore SB go check it out is on my Instagram I posted it this year again I try my best to get those Kobe's I couldn't get the Kobe's right Another special thing about this sneaker that I got to say, it, man, I got to say it. I don't care. I'm going to put myself out there. Yesterday, uh, I was trying to post pictures of the glow in the dark bottom, right? So I was tired. My kids was running around all day. It's Christmas. They got their new toys. They wilding. So I put this sneaker, this left one, in top of the lamp, right? So I placed it on top of the lamp because, you know, when you when you put it next to light, it charges up so it can give it that nice glow like like it does with a lifesaver in Star Wars, right? So I, I wanted to do the Star Wars thing at night uh, and record it just so I could put it on this video. But I ended up kind of knocking out a little bit. I'm older, you know what I'm saying? So 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 my eyes isn't as healthy as they used to be. So I, I was falling asleep. Your boy was caught lacking. And through my sleep, I was able to smell like a burnt cookie smell. And I said, why does my house smell like burnt cookies? I said, is my wife cooking cookies? And of course, she was not cooking cookies. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. So what I do, I get up and I start looking around, scratching my head. And I go, 
why does it smell like burnt cookies? So finally, I look up and I realize that I put it in top of the stand next to the light. And when I take it off the light stand, I realize that I burnt my sneaker, y'all. I burnt my sneaker. I went crazy looking for this sneaker. I found this sneaker, dead stock, great condition, still had the little horse trees in it with all the tags up. I was excited about it and I burnt the sneaker trying to give a trying to give you a glow in the dark look of what these would look like. But the good part about it is that I'm gonna end up keeping them. <laughs> so they're gonna stay in my library forever in my collection. And you know, this is just a uh, uh, just a reminder for me, uh, first and foremost, to stay on point, right? Don't fall asleep while you're charging sneakers. <laughs> and the second thing is that, you know, I was planning to probably like resell it, but then I was like, for what? This is something that I really, really wanted. It, it's not the Christmas Grinches like the Kobe's that everybody else got, but it's something very similar. Plus it's a piece of history. There's not a lot of people in the sneaker game that can say they have these converses. There's not. Whether they want it or not, they don't have it, right? And even if they probably did want it, they didn't know where to get it because when this came out in 2019 um, and Christmas Day, everybody was going crazy for them, I remember, because Kelly Oubre had them on during the All-Star break and he rocked these and even Kobe gave these a nice little shout out on his gram. So the fact that these are, you know, representing something that he brought to the game, which is the Grinch, is also something that's very unique and you're not going to see it everywhere. So the fact that they were able to put this concept together Converse with this special sneaker because I'll tell you right now, this is a very nice quality basketball sneaker. I have tons of basketball sneakers. Nike basketball, I've been chasing Nike basketball sneakers forever. LeBron's, Kobe's, KD's, Kyrie's, uh, name it. Uh, um, Paul George, now Giannis. Like, I got almost every single one, y'all. And a lot of them are that you have to break them in in order for them to feel great, except for a lot of Kobe's. A lot of Kobe's, you put them on right away, they feel they mold to your foot. They just excellent basketball sneakers, but a lot of them are not. So you have to break them in and take some time. But the fact of these, that as soon as I put them on, I just felt the comfort. It wrapped around my foot. Um, I moved around. There was even a point in time where I even forgot I even had these on. Now, I'm not a wear tester, neither do I want to be, but I can say this. If I had these on the court, first and foremost, I'm breaking next. Number two, I can tell that it's going to be very responsive to my moves, right? So if I'm trying to cross you over, hit you with the hezzy, right? <laughs> I know I could do it because this sneaker is going to provide that for me. There's a lot of sneakers that they, as soon as I, I put them on, I can feel like my ankle, it might turn. I feel like the, the, the air is not, you know, it's not aligned. So there's a lot of stuff going on with a lot of these basketball sneakers, but I can say that Nike um, and Converse put this together very, very well. So shout out to you guys. Um, shout out to Kelly Oubre and, and uh, CJ Alexander for rocking these during the game. There's also a WNBA player. I'm not too sure her name that's also signed to Converse. Shout out to you as well. Um, much love and respect to you guys because you guys were able to go against the grain. Just like Stephen Curry did when he signed the Under Armour. Um, you know, James Harden when he went to Adidas. A lot of people just go to Jordan brand and they go to Nike, not because they have the best quality sneaker, just because it's a brand and it's big and they know how to market you correctly and you'll get a lot of money through their endorsements. But sometimes you just got to go on a different route and see where it takes you. And for me, this sneaker is, is a very great sneaker. Now, whatever Converse does moving forward, I don't know. If you need my help, I can definitely help you create some concepts and also some colorways that will make people want to buy your sneaker because... A lot of the colorways that you have for this one and also the low uh, Evo uh, uh, Converse, it's not great colorways. And that's the problem. A lot of times, you're not going to catch people's attention because of the colorway. The colorways have to be correct, how you put it together. And to me, the way that they put this together is exactly the same way that the Grinch was um, for, that, for that Kobe, that Kobe 6. And they did an awesome job. They, 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 really, they really knocked it out the ballpark. I mean, they, they couldn't have done a better job to me, you know. Putting put in, put in together a better concept. Uh, some of you guys probably want to see the inside. I can't take out the saw. I tried already, but you can see that it's also Nike React. So they added some elements to the sneaker that, that's amazing. And like I said, it's, it's a perfect sneaker to rock. And I'm going to be wearing this. I'm going to wear it regular too because it looks like a pair of Chuck Taylors. When I threw this on yesterday, I felt like I was from Cali. You know what I'm saying? So I want to throw some of that on. You know what I'm saying? So I could get with it. You know, I felt like I was from Cali, especially on this side when you look at it and how it hugs your ankle. But anyway, that's enough of that. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Make sure you like my, 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 my stuff if you do like it. And also leave a comment. Um, you know, I, I definitely interact. 
I, I, I respond back as soon as I can. And I appreciate all the feedback, whether it's good, negative, bad. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I've been through it all. So there's nothing you could tell me or nothing that I can tell myself that I haven't heard already. So, or, or I haven't even experienced. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really matter. So, guys, shout out to you. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, this new year, 2021. Uh, my, my number one word for this year is uh, to be excited, right? Be excited about this year because big things are coming. So just enjoy it and see you soon for the next one. Over and out.